Strange. It sounded like Kispik suddenly became smarter. Is such a thing even possible? More than possible. That's how Squid operate. When they're alone, they're dumb as an electrocuted rock. Get a few together, and their intellect improves. Oh, wow. I wish Sobari got smarter like that. Me too, Fluffwit. Especially right about now. Are you sure you can repair those golems, Laura? They look like a total mess to me. Of course I can. But listen, I don't see why I should waste my time to save a horde of shiftless scavengers. We're better off if the destroyers wipe out these thieving scrit. You're getting ahead of yourself. First we see if we can even fix the golems, and then we figure out what to do with them. Fine. Get out of my way, you soft-hearted artichoke. This'll be a snap. There we go. This golem's functional. Now then, shall I set its weapons for deep fat fry and point it at those annoying rats? Lara, imagine you were back in the crate cage waiting to be eaten. It's the same here. We must protect the weak from the merciless. What happened? Where did Tegwin go? Oh, Brambles, did the crate take her again? Valiant, help! The crate are nowhere near us, you yammering salad. That mirror must be cursed. Tegwin looked into it and vanished. That's definitely not good. Even if I knew how to undo a curse, this mirror's Orion. It's far more powerful than I can handle. We have to take it to Traherne. He's studied ore since the early days of the Savari. He'll know how to help Tegwin. I was studying forced material transference long before that walking fern fell off the tree. Come to my lab instead. I'll locate your missing green bean and have her back here in no time. You're very clever, Lara, but Traherne's a firstborn. What do we do? Valiant, you decide. <laughs> 